Scientists say that food in America is hyperpalatable, and that's a bad thing. Tara Fazzino, assistant professor of psychology at the University of Kansas, who led the study, says that most foods eaten in the U.S., including some marketed for weight loss, contain ingredients which make people want more. These hyperpalatable foods contain certain combinations of sugar, fat, salt, and carbs, which tap into the brain's reward system and make it hard for us to stop eating them. According to the study published in the journal Obesity, hyperpalatable foods fall into three categories. Foods where at least 25% of the calories come from fat and salt makes up 0.03% salt of their weight, those with at least 20% calories from fat and 20% from sugar, and items getting 40% of calories from carbs and 0.2% of weight from salt. Foods, for example, deemed hyperpalatable include hot dogs, which marry salt and fat, brownies, which bring together fat and sugar, and pretzels, which contain salt and carbohydrates. To come up with this definition, researchers used special software to see which ingredients in 7,757 foods that are sold in the U.S. actually shared. They reviewed 14 existing studies on foods manufactured to contain ingredients, which makes them more appealing. Now, based on the new criteria, the team found that 62% of food sold in the U.S. was hyperpalatable. Of those, 70% were high in fat and salt, 25% high in fat and sugar, and 16% featured a lot of carbs and salt. Among foods labeled as having no reduced or low levels of sugar, fat, sodium, or calories, 49% were hyperpalatable. Fazzino, who is also associate director of the Kofrin Logan Center for Addiction Research and Treatment at KU's Lifespan Institute, told Newsweek, these findings indicate that many foods marketed for weight management may have characteristics of enhanced palatability and make us want to eat more.